Happy birthday to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Yes, that's right, the FNAF movie officially came out one year ago today. In the United States at least. Nevertheless, to commemorate this special occasion, I wanted to make a short video briefly talking about this movie. I was originally gonna make a longer, higher effort video kinda relating to the anniversary, but I kinda procrastinated a little too hard and I wanted some kind of video on my channel by the end of October, so this will have to do. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's begin. Before I start talking about the movie, I want to talk about the development for it. As we all know, the FNAF movie was infamously stuck in development hell for a good while. The movie was announced way back in 2015 and for a while we weren't sure if it was ever gonna come out. Change of the production company, change of the director for the film, tons of scripts for the movies were scrapped, it was a mess. Thankfully though, around the middle of 2022, production began to pick up steam and it finally felt like it was going somewhere. They announced that Jim Henson's Creature Shop would be working on the film, they announced the new director, Emma Tammy, they announced the casting of the characters, we found out the date of the filming, trailers released and finally, the movie dropped. Speaking about the movie, let's finally talk about it. So this is the first time I've ever done a movie review for this channel, but I have watched a lot of them over the years and I wanna do them a bit differently. The way I wanna review things on this channel is by first mentioning what I disliked and then saying what I liked about the thing I'm reviewing. In this case, the movie. That way, when we reach the conclusion of the review, we go in with a much more positive viewpoint rather than a negative one about the movie. Got that? Okay cool, let's finally, finally begin. If I'm being honest, the main thing that I disliked about this movie is the fact that it just wasn't that scary. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't going into this movie thinking it was gonna traumatize me for life and keep me from sleeping from weeks on end, but I still expected to be slightly scared, which I wasn't. Maybe it's because I've become desensitized to horror over the years, but man, it was such a letdown to not get any sort of chills from this movie. The only time this movie ever gave me an ounce of fear was with the reveal of Springtrap, which I'll talk about more in a bit. Other than that, the only other negative I can think of right now is that it was a bit boring at times, but other than that, yeah, my only huge complaint is that I wasn't scared by the movie. Now let's get on to the positives. First of all, the visuals of this movie were top notch. Blumhouse really struck gold with picking Jim Henson's Creature Shop to make the animatronics a reality because these costumes are near one to one recreations of the original game's renders, it's insane. The environments for the film were also pretty good and fit the story well. The score was also really good. I still remember listening to the intro music for the first time and going, yup, it's peak. Another highlight of the score was the reveal of Springtrap. The music during that segment really helped make it terrifying. Speaking about that, that scene is fucking awesome man. The way Springtrap comes out of the darkness, the music playing during it, the acting of Matthew Lillard. It's one of my favorite moments of the movie. The acting was also delightfully good. What I mean by that is I wasn't expecting Oscar level acting, but it was better than expected. The story was also decent I guess. It was pretty fine for this movie. And you know what, even if this movie didn't manage to scare me, it sure did make me laugh a few times, like that one scene where they built the makeshift fortress in the restaurant. I still remember watching that in the theater, laughing while thinking what in the ever loving fuck am I watching. Positively. And finally, one last thing I want to mention about this movie are the references and cameos. Now I'll be honest, at first I didn't really like these references, I thought they were cheap, I thought they were just there to make fans point at the screen and go, aha, I get it, like how Marvel movies do it, but after watching a certain other film based off a of popular internet horror that I may or may not make a video on in the future, I gained an appreciation for these references and cameos. MatPat, Cory X Kenshin, Sparky the Dog, the I Always Come Back line, these things may be corny, but to me it signals that Scott actually cared about this movie and how the fans would react to it. Also you can't forget the Living Tombstone FNAF one song during the credits of this movie. Never in my life would I have expected to hear that song in a movie theater of all places.
In conclusion, while this movie may have its fair share of problems, at the end of the day what matters to me is that it was at least entertaining and fun. To me personally, I'd rather have a movie that you can laugh at and enjoy rather than a movie that bores you to death during its entire runtime. This is why I and probably many others, believe that the truly bad movies are the mediocre ones. Ones that don't bring anything new to the table. Ones that don't want to fail at anything, so they just play it safe. Because you know, even if the FNAF movie was bad, at least it still left an impact on me. At least I'll remember it in the future and not just forget about it completely. At least it won't fade into obscurity. And hey, the movie grossed nearly 300 million dollars in the box office worldwide. And a sequel is on its way. So who's to say this movie is a complete failure? So yeah, while I believe that this movie may not have achieved its goal as a movie, it did achieve its goal as a FNAF movie. So yeah, that's it I guess. Thank you for watching my incredibly mediocre review of the FNAF movie. I apologize if some of the writing in this is sloppy or doesn't make sense. I literally wrote this script the day before this came out. I hope that you enjoyed at least some parts of it though. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Happy 1 year anniversary to the FNAF movie. And have a happy early Halloween. Also play Sonic 3D Blast. Bye bye <laughs>